muscalunch, commonly known as muskie, are a popular sport fish. They are large, toothy, energetic fish and are well known for their aggressive nature and strong fighting abilities. Sometimes muskie can be mistaken for northern pike due to their similar size and shape. However, there are several differences between species. Muskies have pointed fins and dark markings over a light tan body, whereas pike have white spots patterned over a dark green body. Before you head out on your next muskie fishing trip, here are some tips on how you can be a more responsible angler. Before you go fishing, consider making a checklist of the important gear that you'll need. Some items to include are needle nose pliers, jaw spreaders, hook cutters, and a large net or cradle. Be sure to use heavy tackle since muskie are large and will put up a strong fight. Try to avoid using a gaff hook to land the fish, as these devices can cause serious injury and increase the potential of killing the fish. Once a muskie has been hooked, it needs to be landed as quickly as possible. If using appropriate gear, landing times typically range from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. If you're taking longer, it might be a good idea to reassess your gear and consider using heavier tackle. Try to decrease the fight, since longer playing times are associated with increased stress in fish. If fight time is too long, the fish can suffer serious and potentially lethal injuries. If you are fighting a muskie in deeper water, try to slowly reel in the fish to avoid barotrauma, which can occur if the fish is brought up from depth too quickly. Barotrauma can result in severe physical harm to the fish, such as causing their swim bladders to become distended. As muskie are particularly stressed by handling, extra preparation and skill are required to handle and release these large fish quickly. This reduction in handling time means more time in the water, which is always preferable for catch and release fishing. If there is more than one person on the boat, the use of a cradle is an ideal way of scooping the fish and gaining control alongside the boat. If you are on your own, a single-handed deep net would be ideal for scooping and restraining the fish. We recommend using nets made of rubber, as they cause the least amount of fin fraying and mucus removal. Once the fish is in the net or cradle and is calm, you want to remove the hook in a rapid and safe manner. While holding a large muskie can be difficult, one technique that muskie veterans use is called lipping, which involves inserting your hand behind and through the gills and squeezing the bottom of their mouth. This provides a great grip to control the fish, however little is known about the damage that this may cause. Speed is very important when removing the hook. Muskie lures often contain numerous hooks that could cause serious damage to yourself and to the fish if the fish thrashes. Use long-handled needle nose pliers to firmly grip and remove hooks, and have hook cutters handy in case you are unable to remove one. Cutting a $1 hook could save the life of a muskie. The hook cutter should be strong enough to easily cut through a thick hook with little effort. Sometimes you catch an impressive muskie and want to capture the moment. But how do you take a picture in a responsible way? To start, make sure you're holding the muskie horizontally, with one hand underneath the belly of the fish. Muskie are heavy, and hanging vertically from their mouths can cause a lot of damage to their internal organs and skeleton. Try to keep the fish wet when possible to minimize air exposure. Keep the muskie in the water until the last possible second and then raise it up for the photo. Count to three and return the fish to the water. The fish should be dripping wet, which makes for an impressive, realistic, and responsible photo. When it's time to release the muskie, gently ease the fish back into the water. Loosely hold onto the tail with one hand under the belly until the fish breaks away. By incorporating these simple techniques from this video into your angling practices, Muskie will be less harmed by catch and release, helping to keep more fish in the water for others to enjoy now and into the future. Enjoy what our lakes and tributaries have to offer responsibly.